Good morning, my name is Linda and today I'm going to talk about making money from art. So let's get my specs on. Okay. Um, we, I am the owner of Timeless Memories and I do gift stationery and predominantly everything we make is from products or items that I've painted. Um, artwork that I've made and from there we convert it into paper products and from there of course it goes into the retail market. Now bearing in mind we are very very small and um, we are not a very big company but whatever we do we do it on a budget purely for the simple reason I don't have the money to go and spend on major product. Everything we've collected and the machines and everything we do has been done over a couple of years. It's not something you're going to get all together in one day if you are on a budget because they all cost a lot of money. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so basically, just an overview to explain. This is a painting I painted. I don't know if you can see, but let's see. Okay, that's a painting I painted. This is not the original. This is a copy. And... This product, this painting that I painted, was converted to gift stationery. Now, the one thing you're going to need before you get started on anything is a computer, a printer, and on your computer you need some kind of editing um, program. I have Photoshop, it's a very old to, uh, Photoshop 2, um, I got it as a free thing on a magazine, um, it doesn't have all the doodahs that go with Photoshop but I've learned to use that one and make it work for me. I suppose I could upgrade it and buy a new one but not at the prices they're asking. So basically we make little things, writing sets and if you have a look you will notice that, I don't know if you can see but that and that is the same. Taking from there you create a gift wrap. Uh, I should have not wrapped this, but anyway, it's just so you can get an idea. So basically, what we do is I, I, I draw a picture, I then paint it. From that, I scan it into, I, I do A4 purely for the simple reason I have an A4 scanner. If you have an A3 scanner, you can go bigger, but don't forget you're putting it onto a small item. So from there, we go and we take... The picture we've scanned in, we send it into Photoshop and then we clean up the background, make it transparent so we can put it onto other products. A transparent base is the best to put it up. PNG, that's all I know. Okay, so um, I then make it on a transparent base. I make the back transparent and from there we decide what we're going to do. I then print it. From that print, I can tell, is the color correct? Is it right? Often, very often, I've had to take that picture home, add more green, add more... I, I don't want to do it with Photoshop for the simple reason I don't know... Okay, I don't know how to work that section of Photoshop and I'm not... I, I don't have time to learn how to do that. Um, then, at home, I can then color and I can see. Maybe it needs more olive, maybe it needs more lime, maybe it needs more peach or, or whatever the case may be. Luckily for me, when I painted this one, it came out perfect. Scan in, remove the background, perfect. No, no must, no fuss. But I have had a few where I've had to go home and like with my aloe, the aloe had to be um, greened a little bit. It was too, um, I painted it from my neighborhood and the neighborhood was um, very beige at the time and orange, but it didn't show up as a print very well. So I took it home, added extra green and voila, there it was. So. Basically, what you need to do before we get started on anything, you need to have a printer. I have Canon printers, and I have an A3 and an A2. And the reason why I have those is because I can interchange the ink. So if my ink runs out on the one, a magenta, cyan, I can then transfer one of those cartridges to the one that is busy print running. And it's good to have two printers, well, I need two printers to run. One is not going to do. Before we ran on one printer and then we needed another job to be done, it, it, I needed two. And having the A3 allows me to print these. Um, these are A3 in size. Without these, I couldn't make it. Everything else, this is my only A3 that I print. 
Everything else is A4. I, I, I market and make my product to A4 for the simple reason I don't farm it out. I have my own spiral binder. It took me years to get that spiral binder, I think five years. Um, when it came on the market very cheap, I bought one. I get my spirals from a wholesaler. I don't buy it from a retailer. I don't buy it from a, a stationary retailer. Um, I don't buy it from a stationary wholesaler. What I do is I buy it direct from the company. And they deliver it in a box and it's economical. Then I had to decide when I made my calendars. How many calendars can I get off a spiral strip? I can get two. I throw away two of the rounds at the end of the day. So for me, it's, it's cost effective. So because I'm not farming anything out to be printed by anybody else except myself, I've got full control of what I'm doing, um, I can then decide on size. So let me just have a sip of my coffee. I lost my voice for seven years and I've just got to keep myself lubricated. Okay. So, after you've picked up your, also, printers, why I use Canon. I found the quality of the print to be very good. I've tried HP, I've tried a few others, and they have not been to my liking. Um, the inks are expensive. I use compatibles. Um, for the first two or three years, I used the originals, but cost is prohibitive. So I don't use, I don't get my cartridges refilled, I actually just buy a compatible. And I have a supplier that can supply me with really good, reasonable price compatibles. I have not found any problems. I've been running my cannons for 10 years and I've not found there to be any problems. Um, I find that the lifespan of a cannon, I use it a lot every day. I'm printing reams of, of cardboard is, um, or paper. And I find the lifespan of my cannons are between three and four years. Nothing wrong with that. I'm paying a thousand rand. I don't see that being a problem. Or one, two, or even two thousand rand for my A3. I don't find that a problem. Um, secondly, my, my, 